that has a very grave danger. And one of the reasons I told you to be careful you don't have politicians take you over, because we have seen in the United States and in Japan what happens later. After a while, the people in management get pretty cocky and they quit trying. But momentum carries them. And in this region, when they're busy ruling things, the results are still getting better. And then when this starts to go down, it's very, very steep, and it's very hard to pick it back up. And uh, my uh, teacher in Japan told me that this is the sort of thing that he's seen. Companies like, wins the Denny Prize. Wow! And then the uh, management goes to sleep. Superstitious burning. Pardon? That gives rise to superstitious burning. Yeah. As we should say. Yeah. Okay, so the, the, you have to watch out for this. And that's why you really need to be solidly based in quality management experience back in here, unless you get on to that. Uh, there's lots of activity in the United States now. And these are groups of people that you can turn to where things are happening. <coughs> uh, the New York Excelsior, Excelsior Award. That, that, uh, that went contrary to everything I've been teaching, so you've got to be very careful that you don't believe everything I say. Uh, that is, I, I felt that uh, in New York State, uh, building something on a political base, which is what it was, would be very dangerous. But apparently, it, they've been able to keep it out of the politics. But it started at the state level, it started with the governor and the lieutenant governor. But one of the reasons it's successful is, I can't remember the name of this guy, who was... Yeah. Pardon? I, I think yes, what? Alright, uh, uh, but there's one other thing. There is a, a guy who was mayor of Johnson City. Stan Lundin. Oh, Stan Lundin! Okay. Yeah, he's very important in all of this. Yeah. Stan Lundin was one of the very early pioneers in quality. And uh, uh, having him in the state government uh, uh, also was very, very important. Uh, Office of Personnel Management, to a certain extent, that varies enormously. There's the Federal Off uh, Quality uh, Institute, and it's a uh, it of way more history. The goal of UPC is up there, the, our board, uh, the American Society for Quality Control, the association. This outfit is coming on very, very strong. They have understood better than the ASQC. Uh, ASQC is good, and there's a lot of good people in it, but it's an enormous size organization. And although I have gone from time to time to the ASQC to get them to take the initiative in starting community quality councils, they have been able to. It just hasn't happened. But locally it can happen, for example. Locally here it can happen. But it, it, the, the national movement just doesn't quite have these things. Pardon? Yes. Uh, but that will happen. The Milwaukee Quality Council, Madison Area Quality Improvement Network, Connecticut Quality Council, there's a going out there really very, very strong. They're doing a lot of good things. Uh, uh, Philadelphia Pace, Erie Excellence Council. Now we have established the World Center for Community Excellence, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Uh, Rochester, Arkansas Investor. Uh, this is fascinating. About seven years ago, I was invited to Arkansas by Jen Partain, who was working on implementing quality management in state government. She introduced me to the governor. And uh, I went in and was supposed to spend about 15 minutes with Governor Clinton. And we ended up almost two hours. This guy is a fast learner. And uh, he immediately set about trying to introduce quality management all over the state. And when he first started the campaign in, uh, up in, up in New England, uh, he started to go gung ho on quality. And his handler says, oh, Nobody knows what you're talking about. You look like a flake. So stop it. So he quit talking about quality. But he, he's very, you know, very interested in it, believes in it. thing he didn't know, and no one could know, is when you get in the White House, you just can't spend a lot of time on things like that. The world dumps on you, and you know, Bosnia, and you know, this one, and that one, and the other. So, Leading the charge, as you might have done it in Arkansas, in no way is possible for the president. Uh, uh, Bob Reich has appeared and knows Deming. I know Reich will talk. He, he believes in quality. Donna Shalala was interested in quality management practices at the university. Those people 
really sincerely want to see it happen, it's so tough. Even I, a lonely, a lonely assistant secretary, could, could not really change much. It's very, very hard. Uh, it takes a much broader understanding that doesn't exist. Uh, uh, Vice President Gore wants to make it happen, but uh, I visited some of the agencies of government and talked to the people, and uh, they don't know. They know not whereof they speak, and they have had a chance to learn, and they're not about to, to get out of their job because they're not qualified. No one does that. So it's going very slowly. Unfortunately, the PR people have taken over, and so we have these conti this continuous stream of isolated incidences that are going well, like uh, the IRS, which was in such a terrible mess. They had to go for quality. I remember the IRS calling me up and said, we're going to send some people to Japan. Who should we see? So you want me to help the enemy? Uh, uh, so they, uh, but they changed, and if you talk to the director of the IRS, it's a wonderful story what they've done. But that's just one, and there's others over here, and some are pretty, pretty bad. And as a whole, it's going slowly, and it's the best we can expect. The Washington Denton Study Group, very good. The AASA has really taken hold. So, and there are more I don't have on the list. The point I want to make to you is that there are lots of people out there that you can interact with and learn from besides uh, the other communities. Well, how many? Depends how you define it. How many people are homeless? Uh, I don't know. And you go out to the census, but then it's counted. Uh, we think that between 200 and 300, the different aim and orientation, small groups that will learn from one another, for those with strong outreach, can change over time. Uh, I have a policy, it's very simple, People call me up and say, will you come and help? And I say, tell me what you're doing. And I listen. And I say, well, what it amounts to is you've got a group where you come together to discuss quality. And you are you reaching out to help other people? Well, no, we're not doing that. We, we need to learn ourselves. In other words, you're not making any effort to help other people, but you ask me to come and help you. Do I have it right? Well, no, that's not. You see, uh, what's your fee? And I say, my fee for you is exorbitant. You couldn't possibly pay it. When you are trying to help somebody else, then call me. And I'll send you information on how to do it. So amongst these, there are groups who made it absolutely clear to me they were not interested in that. But four or five years later, they grow up. <laughs> and then they say, we got some new people, and they want to do it. So I say, OK, and then we, we negotiate. I, I do this for free. And just, uh, you know, that's what it's for. So. Uh, they change over time, and we can't give you an accurate list, but we can give you quite a bit of help. Now, we've established this World Center for Community Excellence. And uh, I think those are the right numbers. Uh, they keep changing on me. Uh, about, uh, oh, two years ago, two and a half years ago, two years ago, we had a meeting of the Erie Excellence Council. A lot of people show they, they have now a one-week conference. People come from all over the world. And Joel Barker was there, the guy that was talking about paradigms and paradigm shifts. And somehow or other in the discussion, the question arose, how do we help other people? And a guy from Ohio got up. Uh, I'm not from Erie, but you folks have helped me, and I know how much you help with the other people. I'm writing out a check right now for 50 bucks as my donation for you to start uh, a, a, a council to help everybody else because you've got you've got the ability to do that. And then other people chimed in, and that night raised three, four thousand dollars like that. So they said, we've got to do it. So we formed this World Center for Community Excellence. And the World Center has a, a, a mission to help people all over the world. And you write to them, and they will send you a package which tells you all the other community excellence councils that we know about. 
name, telephone number, and whatever we know about them. 